five last night. Sure was. And Jason, what can we expect for tonight? It's going to be nice, at least as I said before, through the early evening hours. We've got rain and we've got thunderstorms that will be rolling in through the overnight. But up until then, we're going to hang out with clear skies for the most part. See some of those, some of that cloud cover off to the west now that has been dissipating as it's made its way to the east. You can see off to the northwest that system trying to make its way here, and again, it will be making its way here, but not before we feel a little bit more heat out there. Temperatures in the upper 80s in some spots to the west, otherwise low to mid 80s if you're off to the east. Still warmth though, and that's again going to help us to breathe the showers and the thunderstorms that we'll be seeing as we head into the overnight. Strong storms from, Su from Rapid City all the way up to Grand Forks. This is a front that will be pushing its way our direction. So just by about, I'd say about midnight or so, we'll see that start to enter the northwestern corner of Iowa. And that's going to push through into the overnight. And that should last through most of the day tomorrow. So get out and enjoy the rest of what we've got today. 86, and yes, it's humid. We've got a heat index of 91 degrees. So stay hydrated if you're headed out and about. But know that the showers, thunderstorms, they roll in past midnight to the northwest, finally making it into the morning, early morning hours. And after that, we keep it stormy throughout a good portion of the day tomorrow. But we do climb up to 84 degrees, so still talking a decent amount of warmth along with this. But once this front passes, it's going to be cooling down quite a bit. Storms, though, along with this front as it moves its way to the east, you can see high pressure trying to make its way in from the northwest behind this front. So we've got sunny and cooler days on the back side of this. But tomorrow, looking to be warm and stormy for a good portion of us. Futurecast has skies still pretty clear as we head through the 11 p.m. hour. You can see some of the cloud cover and some of the storms starting to make their way through as we head into the 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning hours. That whole system pushes through into the morning and could see some scattered stuff ahead of that main front that will be sliding through as we head into uh, the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. So if you've got outdoor plans, keep your eye on the radar and keep posted with us. Some of these storms could be strong to severe at times, mainly looking at wind and hail and heavy rain as your threats. But by the evening hours, we start to see this dial down a notch, could clear out the skies a bit. And with the high pressure that's going to be making its way in, that's going to start, off, start us off much cooler as we work our way into Tuesday morning. As far as rain totals go, heaviest amounts by far off to the north. So if you're up, I'd say Mason City, around an inch and a half, half an inch, for you out in Fort Dodge, a general smattering of around a half an inch no matter where you are in Iowa. If you get hit with one of the stronger storms, could see a little bit more than that. But know that those won't be making their way into the metro at least past the midnight hour and into the early morning hours. 73, though, a balmy overnight low. We're back up to 84 tomorrow. Those showers and thunderstorms start in the morning hours as scattered. And as we head through the afternoon, that line pushes its way through. So over the next few days here, Take a cooler turn. Pair of 76 is Tuesday and Wednesday. We get sunshine, though, for both of those days. After that, scattered showers and thunderstorms return Thursday and into Friday. But look at this. Cranking up the heat into the weekend. 90 on Saturday, up to 91 on Sunday. So we lose it for a couple days, but AC alert comes back in by next weekend.